side who performed so creditably against Collingwood under lights last Friday week against Collingwood. Footscray's defeat of Carlton last week at Princess Park stamped them as a real final five threat this year, especially as they hadn't beaten the Blues at home since 1964. Last year, they won both encounters against the Kangaroos, kicking their highest ever total against them in winning by 63 points in round three. North, however, had won their previous eight meetings. Tonight, our replay begins at the 11-minute mark of an exciting final quarter. And with me in the commentary box is Lou Richards. Have that many good players after quarter time, North, when they led by 44 points to zero at the 19-minute mark of that first quarter. So it's a fine effort by Footgrad to come back like they have. They're leading by uh, 23 points. Now, what is it? I think it might be just 23 points. Out wide. Oh, there's a free kick to Smith. Well, this fella started off uh, like a champion in the first uh, quarter, like uh, Simmerbush did, but they faded out, but he's coming back into the game this quarter. Well, that's a free kick all the way as we watch it. No doubt about that. Foster got all over the top, and the ball up there towards the full forward position. Good play on the part of Egan. Dashing play by the back pocket player for Footscray. Out wide. Coming in to meet it now as Daniels. It bounces right, but he fumbled the ball, but still kicked it off the ground. Ross Smith won't give any taps it over. Trying to find his mate there, Hickey, and it's out of bounds on the centre wing position. Just over the 12-minute mark. Still 23 points the difference in favour of Footscray. Now North Melbourne still have a chance and still plenty of time for them. Lyle and Gronerwegen to go for this knockout. Knocked out by the Footscray player, Gronerwig. Kicked off the ground by Daniels towards the half-forward line. Going towards the line, coming in to meet it as Laurie goes down. He's got time to recover and kick the ball back to the half-back line. Flying high with Smith, taken off the pack by Dwyer. He fumbled the ball, Larkin goes down. Punched on by Bahaja. Out there to watch Gronerwig in the game, but he's grabbed. Still goes off, picked up by Lark. Good play as he gets it out to Lark and decides to go for a run. Kicks the ball to centre half forward. Phil Cracker and Egan. Neither can take the mark. He's going to pay the mark to Egan. I thought Cracker touched it first. Not at all. And Cracker thinks so too. He's going to take his number. The music name was not suggest. Oh, there's the fastest crook in the business, uh, Jesse Gaines. Can't get it out. Maybe he should be reported for wasting time. I don't know what he's reporting Jimmy Cracker, Phil Cracker for. I would say it's abusive language, Lou. Well, I just think that uh, Cracker knocked that one into Egan's hands. Nothing yeah. else. Now, what did he do here to get reported? Might have abused the umpire. I think so. And you've got to keep your trap shut. And they've got that black book down there, Sock. Free kick going to Egan or Mark. Call it what you will. Egan at half back for Footscray. 16-12 to 13-7 at VFL Park. The quarter in progress, nearly 14 minutes. Egan straight down the ground. The big pack of players just wide of the centre circle. Behind is Smith. Likewise, McLean roams it well. McLean out wide to the half-forward line. And that's a fine mark. Brought in by uh, Cordy. Neil Cordy. Neil back on the field. He's taken off, I think, around about quarter time. chance for his first goal. What's he done with that one? Right across the face of goal. Edmund has taken another mark. That's seven marks for Jimmy Edmund. He's got one of the safest pairs of hands in the business. Second grab in front of Maguire. He's on what we might term almost an impossible angle. See if he can run around. Hit the post. 